third reader tonight is Stephen Collis, who is the author of Mine, of two parts of the ongoing Barricades Project, An Archive, and The Commons, as well as On the Material. He's also the author of two books of criticism, Through the Words of Others, Susan Howe and Anarcho-Scholasticism, and Phyllis Webb and the Common Good. Stephen is a long-standing member of the Kootenai School of Writing. He teaches poetry and poetics and American literature at Simon Fraser, U Fraser University. Please welcome Stephen Collis. Thank you, Sarah. And thanks to Charles and everybody at uh, Kelly Writer's House again. It's really wonderful being here and talking and reading and listening and all these things we're doing. I'm heartened by the fact uh, right now that I share a common fate with many other of my fellow poets, and that is to walk into the space that Christian Book has just been yelling in. <laughs> I'm going to begin reading from uh, my most recent book called On the Material from uh, a sequence called 4 by 4 We were in the last days of the poem, sun glinting off countless new and identical condo towers, hand around the warmth of gourmet coffee, car idling at the curb. We were wondering what could still be said about the reality of cities, building facade and street, murmuring walls and oppressive corners. And lost within the petrified world, some lone figures in perpetual motion. Or take these brashly made up dolls, carcasses, loose heads and body parts, the extinct architectures of a public's window sphere, restoration world, crate and barrel, John Fluvog. Sign outside a glittering bank tower. Jump, you fuckers! Molten money running in the gutters. Some other clampdown we'd rather not work for, but probably will. Austere dreams of outdated ecologies. Give me needy storms of action. That far, science takes us. Something outside the free speech zone, the safe assembly area. We were anxious about the market of everything, about the sound of our voices in the cavernous dome, the birds and trees we'd make note of, our normally articulate mouths splayed across the big screen. This was just a few days ago the wind across the pages of our pre-digital expressions, a tomahawk missiled to our chests, plain wing, dinner fork, something dead but still dominant. We were killing them softly. The planet sighed. None of this and all of this found its way into the poem. We were people poking around the wreckage. No one had read the reports. No one replied. Rush out into space, perhaps it's tomorrow gleaming carbon fuel streams, rockets to remember. This was what the future looked like, Walt. Now we're gulping down deserts, Georgia O'Keeffe bones gleaming, your skin-barked beautiful tree lean out over gulfs of exasperated oil. Or perhaps it wasn't that at all, force in a landscape converting currencies, predict storms taking digital numbers off screens and scattering them on the wind, recursive like tree rings, like quatrains, before the ride's darkness is over, in a blink au revoir mysterious presence, you were commerce before the first gasp. Here we're allowed to rake a tin cup across our invisible bars, making racket of no difference. Here I have a spontaneous affinity. Your skylark is my skylark. Your rudimentary form is my rudimentary form. 
Western Canadian place or avenues of America's. The blood drains towards the border, but the oil is pumped to the head. I'm trying to get even more famous, Jabberwocky. Spit a skeleton out and call it the next big thing. That's how I roll Documenta by any alley. We feel free because we lack the gears to shift down to the articulation of our unfreedom as we ride across our fraudulent estates. But it is in your grove I would walk, like a sequitur seeking a non denatured palm or fake math. History so fanged begins to bite back. But arrested auditor of books, we have a mere toehold in life. Words which are really clouds, forced to behave mimetically. Naming Poe is the same as naming a tree. I think the longest hour of all is when the trucks have gone, little scholars. I think utopia is when, without solution, we invent a new space out of the coordinates of the old. Archaic torso of Toronto, shattered pavement on Bloor and Bathurst, hurt feet, sidewalk, scar of tram car track. These brick facades are so old and full of rentable emotion. These bay windows so cluttered with nonsense goods. People clutch pillows in the stink of the Greyhound station. Here we are all racially profiled. Here we are taser armed, ready, routine, even communicative. Everything mobile, nothing but net. There's nowhere we're not seen here. Cameras, cones of light. You must change your ideology. <clears throat> Limits are what we are combined of. But where there is a boundary, there is also a beyondery. Like, I fought the lyric and the lyric won. It's a pulp and paper planet. Beatles invading Ponderosa, Lodgepole, Scots and Bristlecone, 21.5 billion board feet, 2005, stumping for stumpage fees, boring through bark and producing pheromones, mass attacks carrying blue stain fungi, trees, phloem layer overwhelmed, trees starve, reddening needles, entire groves, oh, Ikea. This Furniture is fine, but what are all these strange names and relentless Allen keys for? Sibling tree economies, all capitalizing on lumbering, snoozing insect wars. I call him surface, this sea of er error. The very things wither, the sad little houses, the fires, hurrying. I want wings, the ground, the eternal beam of every fold, the hilltops flowing into streams, gashed and savage like amazed inlets, daughter languages, otter, wolf, lynx, bee, honey, cattle, sheep, and spoke-wheeled horse languages riding out of the Indo-European steppes. Venerable parchment, burnt flax of throats, the body warms in the flight from page to page to the edge of overgreen, evergreens on abrupt cliffs. I should say a lot of these are, either these poems translate something or borrow excessively and extensively from something. So there was a lot of Goethe um, sort of translated into that. Each tree standing alone in its stillness this neck of the woods, the mantle of the poor, or given global swarming, no mantle for these misfortunes. News from the avant-garde dailies. Speech and I are just friends. Electricity passes through us to an island. Our water comes through 50 kilometers of pipe. Space inhabits and inhibits. I feed the neighbor's cat, clean up after the raccoons. It's new normalism for the lords of the water mountains. Is disjunctive irony all we can accept, expect from poets now? No question mark there. 
This is history in a virtual age. Treeless, I ask, who ate the blackberries? This, is the, this poem sort of ends this sequence and it, it has a separate title, the, the Arc of Resistance. But maybe we could still winch this rig out of the ditch. A bottle rocket beginning, Molotov cocktail party, some urban druids chanting round stole, stone dolmen dumpsters. Someone said surrealism, but it was space, not clocks they were melting. The asphalt turning to oil, the silver plains, no one, not even armies, could afford to fly. This was the desert of desires, after all. Commodity frozen in the process of feeling itself up, just managing to whisper, oil can, oil can, through clenched tin lips. And then, looking at the empty sky, someone yells, arc of resistance. Rainbow or triumphal promenade of cloud form, rainstorm coming to quench all this killing. But what I heard was arc of resistance, and there it was, black hull and red sail, crewed by preemptive Parisians in red liberty caps, kid with pistols, woman's bare breast, flag. And so we gave up vehicle for vessel, False Freedoms, Audi All-Road, M-Class, Range Rover, Sport, KN, Turbo, Steptronic, Jeep, CJ, Forerunner, Explorer, Expedition, Land Cruiser, Pathfinder, Ram, Hummer, 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 F-150, 250, 350, Super Duty, Durango, Hemi, Tacoma, Tundra, Tucson, Sierra, Savannah, da Nali, Acadia, Escape, Edge, Ram, 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 Liberty. And then we slipped the board the ship and passed the pier. And then I saw my comrades course before the mast. And then the wind came, red sail, even keel. And then I saw horizons, future lit, burst bright beyond the frame. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even sure what time I started. Um, I'm going to read a poem that I think was probably... Um, <clears throat> triggered from last time I was in Philadelphia about four years ago for an MLA conference and I spent about two days sitting in a hotel room in interviewing people and it wasn't that exciting. Um, but I did get to go to the museum and because uh, I knew the Duchamp stuff was there and I really wanted to go see that. Um, but then I discovered that Twombly room with the 50 days at Ilium that I had no idea was, was there and, and it kind of blew me away. And, um, some time later that led to this poem, which is called Poem Beginning with the Title of a Side Twombly Painting. Fifty days at Ilium, writing a small dictionary of debts, recollecting recompense, the structural epic, how we, any of us, depopulate scorn, throwing contingency up on the wounds ethics wears, or take from a poem, small candle window worn to speak into tongues most fervent wry whisper or voices valence. Look, it shook secrets from our agents who wore mirth like a salient whim or chipped sugar onto lark's backs to swoop from romantic peers and stupid like we weren't ninjas swooping into politics, pretending farce and forced open our ocular throats to bleed against gain and murder's plunder gore. Or like this painting where each brushstroke is borrowed from another or tightly coiled in canvas the culture chirps in another tree languages links everything stolen is free to form affinity frames light and pure colorists divine ardor as a way of being oneself in another's delicate skin this is to be reiteration echo quote figure trope troubled lyric can you hear me now pointillism is my point to make amend in rent fabrics torn of voice, scattered and weathered versions thereof, every poem written as after, subsumed but not bearing debts, laughter as origin, propertyless press. Thus like a fire that consumes all before it and 
eagle drops skies scars and palace fierce drives where thickest making war or palms without fame fled to paint rages as ages hence we are still standing a precipice treed to overlook our anger's destructions or boil our debts oil i'm going to read from a new poem in progress well progress it's sort of finished i just haven't finished messing around with it uh it's called No End to More. Um, which is, uh, my brother who used to work in advertising. His, his phrase for the capitalist ethos is there's no end to more. So the poem's called No End to More. But it's a poem that, that uh, uses a variety of um, procedures and uh, uh, constraints to treat uh, Thomas More's uh, book Utopia. Um, but it also employs and mixes in uh, another very old uh, procedure um, uh, called self-expression. <laughs> At times. <clears throat> more on removed equivalent. More otherwise robbed, eliminating. More other revenues employed. More or refrained enough. More only really everything. More one raising effect. More or royal enough. More of room even. More otherwise rushing effect. More or reason entirely. More open rebels everywhere. My body is liquid, what I'd send back to seas we swam out of or plied our oars over seeking fleece. The thunder of island squalls, etc. A point beyond lighthouses. I pour down a mere factor in hydrology which is the subject now. More of everything's ruin. More only reason especially. More of Rome's efforts. More of resources economically. More of right examples. More on record elsewhere. More often rare except more overly rudimentary elites. More of ruffian's excuse. More other reduced economically. More outside responsible ever. More oil, Republican ease. More own rich equality. More of rich education. Can you count the pages, steps up a ladder in a palm, or it's just life, she says, testing the blade with the flesh of her thumb, Mercutio and Tybalt and their various forms of fencing, the long drive back to your home world, potholes and all those barricades made out of burning tires in Bangkok, black smoke billowing into our TV screens. More on rumored ellipses, more odd research edifices, more older romantic elites, more ontic rabble eclogues, more ultra reissued editions, more ulipo raconteurs ecstasy, more on reported evidence, more of radical experiments, more overt rendering effects, more offensive reading events, more only really edible. What is this welter, the things given away, those with fences around them, the fires in their back doors, flood of crows from their chimneys, tract of land or water, river through the trees, no limits to the berries growing in great clots all along the horizon. More or less, more per annum, more invented instruments and movements, more serious with glooming asceticism, more natural affectations, more anxious for welfare, more of less species. But that's, retorted the lawyer, army. An ordinary war run short of thieves. And the curious? Curiouser. More landed property, more value, pleasure, bundled mortgages and mortgage pools. Everything more savage without organic need. More possible life, less viable. I grow tired of my own voice. Great peals of others against exogamous skies. Lucid like the last rain on a sea of oil. 
You've seen the birds, their wooden legs and resin eyes. The toop of whatever toops. I'm tired of birds, too, and the languages they speak alone and in small flocks. More prosperous, more splendid. The transport of timber, language from corruption, from reading, from foreign markets, from holdings, a lot of things to sell. More Aristotle lying around, odd pages, grammar. Driven snow east, driven wind, fleece over ocean, locked piracy over spilt wrath, not west, not first, last, peoples, animals, broken being. You become all mouth, all appetite, swallowing appetite, go wolf, go devourer. The planet is your plate. More and more sources of anxiety, absorbed social environment, kill floor, tailing pond. More cunning, container cuckold culture. More Alberta. Nobody in utopia. This is the part where the self howls or is seen to do so from the place provided for it to howl, preferably indoors or in a sonnet, by the system of exploitive alienation, uh, exploit, exploitive and alienating social relations known commonly as capitalism. Measured as quaint, euphemism for lack, topiary and diesel fumes from gulfs, the rinse cycle, notary or north, more poetry, more dead Arthurian boundaries or menhirs to market an asterisk beside stats, more unopened grail castles. Trial passions leave us. Stand amidst pines, beetle-laden carpet of brown needles, smell welcomed into noses. Try on fate, try walking on Berber, the stock exchanges of countries we haven't visited. Something is just about sated, something explodes, dominant death, the ghost bottom of a ship passing over our heads, plume of oil clouding under the sea, birds in their nests in the plastic trees, more career, more oil, more than others, more cops, supine, more injuries, more vulnerable, more profits. What do we do, fiery peer, throw our bodies out in the sea to watch them rise again, flames in their hands and eels for eyes? I've given up on quests and literature. The book in the night rustles its leaves, I ignore it and turn to the sea, burying my head in a wooden box. More briefs and ledgers. A mess of everybody's avant-garde. More interpretation. More process. Plebeian animals leaping fences. More addiction. More robbery. This is the market that demanded the commodity that formed the institution that set the type that printed the book that imprisoned the poem that Jack built. Thank you. <laughs>